the lights have gone down, I am lit from head to toe, my shoes are rhinestones, and I'm wearing my little single white female bob, so don't come near me if you have a new puppy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 7 moments. <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at the most instantly iconic, life-giving moments from the all-winner season of Drag Race All-Stars. If these moments made you say, I live, then be sure to let us know. Number 10. The first ever spoken word lip sync for your legacy. For the first time in Drag Race history, you were asked to prepare a spoken word lip sync performance. Although Ella Fitzgerald's rendition of Old MacDonald was an unexpected song choice, Old MacDonald had a farm, e -I -E -I -O. the most notable departure from standard lip sync tracks was the week nine duel between Jinx Monsoon and Monet Exchange. Excuse me, aren't you Marjorie Lee Winnick, the current Miss Georgia World? Why, yes, I am. I'm Julia Sugarbaker, Suzanne Sugarbaker's sister. The two battled it out to the famous The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia monologue from Designing Women flew higher, further, faster than any baton has ever flown before, hitting a transformer and showering the darkened arena with sparks. Although spoken word mixes are common in live drag performances and even some drag race challenges, this was the first time the show featured one in the lip sync for your legacy portion of an episode. It flew higher, further, faster than any baton has ever flown before, hitting a transformer and showering the darkened arena with sparks. It's not just a callback to an iconic TV moment, but also a tribute to the art form of drag and its ability to recycle classic pop culture and make it new again. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia. Number 9. Shay Meets Naomi Campbell In the season premiere, RuPaul surprised the eight returning winners with a runway coaching session from the legendary Naomi Campbell herself. It is the most sickening, iconic thing to be walking on the runway in front of Naomi Campbell. This opportunity left one queen in tears. Shea Coulee, winner of All Stars 5, was floored when Naomi called her runway walk. You know what you're doing, you have it controlled, you know how to slow it down to bring it up to... It was perfection for me. Wow. The usually composed queen began stumbling over her words as she tried to respond to the compliment, which was all the more meaningful coming from Campbell. Uh, uh, I, well, um... <laughs> Having looked up to the famous supermodel since childhood, Shay later described their interaction as one of the most affirming moments of her life. Number 8. Raja Finally Wins The season 3 winner was always known for her polished runway looks, but this season allowed viewers to see a softer side of Raja. My family was at an airport, and my family lost me for a second. And so they went searching and searching, and a few feet away, little three-year-old Sutan found a stack of suitcases, and there I was dancing. Dancing this. After being passed over for challenge wins throughout the all winter season, despite her consistent performance. Ladies, the rest of you may take a seat. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Because I was going to stay up here. The curse was finally broken in episode eight. You're late. Sorry. I was giving my boyfriend a frosty. <gasps> Oh, come all ye faithful. <laughs> Raja was named a top two all-star in the Santa School for Girls acting challenge, nabbing her second legendary legend star and winning the lip sync to Rick James's funk classic Super Freak. On top of this, she was also granted the power to block one of her competitors with the all-powerful Platinum Plunger. I finally get the power to block someone, and I love it. It was an overdue win, and Raja milked it for all it was worth. The entire episode was a masterclass from a drag race trailblazer. <laughs> 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 Number 7. Shay's Talent Show Performance In 
the season's biggest comeback story, Shea Coulee served pop star bravura with her original song, Your Name. Accurately described by the performer as a cross between Janet Jackson and Luther Vandross, her sharp choreography and stunning command of the stage was a great throwback to 80s pop, revitalized for the current moment. You make me go. The performance all but guaranteed Shay a top two spot when she needed it most. The judges were awed, and RuPaul awarded Shay three legendary legend stars, catapulting her into the finale she was sure she had no chance of being in. My jaw was on the desk watching. <laughs> Number six, Evie's Tic Tac Chit Chat. I'm so thankful that I got the opportunity to come back and show what more I'm capable of. In the penultimate episode of the season, RuPaul revived the show's long-defunct Tic Tac Chit Chat segment to give the eight winners the chance to talk about the charities they were competing for. What's your charity? The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Is that near and dear to your heart? Um, unfortunately, it is. Season 11's Evie Oddly was forthright about her experience with domestic violence and her struggles with living with a connective tissue disease called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It has been very difficult because with Ehlers-Danlos, I'm feeling myself like actively losing skills. The disorder was making it harder for her to do some contortion tricks safely. It was a frank and vulnerable conversation about the toll art can take on the body. And Evie's eagerness to share her experiences made the performance all the more special. This was my like, my love letter to all of the things that I know I probably cannot continue doing for that much longer. Number five, the Vivian's accents. My name is Goldilocks. Mm -hmm. Mates call me Goldie, mm -hmm. and I haven't got a clue what she's talking about. For many American fans, All Star Seven may have been their first glimpse of the Vivian, but her effortless performance in the Fairy Tale Justice Challenge cemented her place among the legendary cast. Her name is Lil Red. I know nothing of what this lady is talking about. My name is Helga and I'm from Germany and I just like to eat strudel. The RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 1 winner showcased her deft hand with dialects in the Episode 4 Improv Challenge. So Gretel sounds like she is also from one of these countries that has an accent like this, so I'm going to stick with this. With her performance as the compulsive liar and porridge thief Goldilocks, she was able to shift seamlessly between a Scottish, German, and American accent while still delivering jokes and comebacks without ever breaking character or a sweat. All right, listen. Oh! I'm from Glendale. She was named one of the top two all-stars of the week, giving the cast's other resident improv maven, Jinx Monsoon, a run for her money. Stress is just really getting to me. <laughs> Your ear falling I'm sorry, up. you're gonna have to speak up. I can only hear you <laughs> half as well. Number four, the All Glowed Up Runway. The category is All Glowed Up. This ambitious theme asked the queens to incorporate lights and illumination into their runway looks for the week. And these champions did not disappoint. Just 200 lasers and Swarovski crystals on a 3D printed butterfly cage. As each queen strutted down the runway, the lights dimmed, and each dress became a walking light show. We've seen some incredible looks on Drag Race over the years, but never have we seen a bioluminescent mermaid, glimmering mushrooms, a shining sunflower, or a witch being burned alive on the runway. So while I am a witch being burned alive, I'm going to show that the flames don't hurt me and do not diminish my power. Each look left an impact, and this runway will surely go down as one of the best the series has ever seen. Any chance I get to be an angel, I'll take it, because I will certainly not be going to heaven. Number three, Monet Sings Opera. <laughs> Alongside her successful drag career, Monet Exchange is also a podcast host, talk show host, and even a pop singer and rapper. Her past as a trained opera singer was more of an anecdote than a part of her repertoire. Until All Stars 7, that is. Monet's deep, resonant bass blew away her competition. <laughs> Prima. 
As she powered through an aria from Vincenzo Bellini's La Sonnambula, the judges and her fellow queens were spellbound. Although Drag Race has celebrated many skills from its competitors over the years, Monet's performance brought an amount of technical skill and polish rarely seen on the main stage. Non trovo più. Number 2. The Second Lala Perusa. Let the lip sync Lala Perusa smack down to the crowns begin. All season long, the queens were vying for a chance to win $200,000 in the lip sync Lala Perusa Smackdown finale. But at the end of the penultimate episode, Rue had another surprise in store. The four queens that didn't make the cut would compete for a consolation title, which came with its own $50,000 prize. The winner will be crowned the queen of She Done Already Done Had Her. <laughs> this gave every cast member one last chance to strut their moves and show their stuff. While all the queens walked away with their own scepters and titles, the two big winners were Raja and Jinx, who were crowned queen of She Done Already Done Had Herses and queen of queens, respectively. And I claim this in the name of Hecate, mother of witches. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Return of Wintergreen. Peppermint's honorary drag daughter made a grand return to the main stage. Good evening, <laughs> and thank you. Please. Bow your heads as I share these words of wisdom from Kennedy Davenport herself. Shay's Platinum Plunger Ploy Shay's lie about the Platinum Plunger's super secret powers psychs out her competitors. I've learned of the Platinum Plunger's full potential. Oh, f off. Obviously, the Platinum Plunger is just the Platinum Plunger. There is no secret, I made it up. Vanna White Realness the queens are stunned when they see Vanna White introducing the Vanna-themed runway. Raja! Oh my f <laughs> <laughs> I would sit with my grandmother and we would watch Wheel of Fortune together. I'm sure wherever she's watching from in another realm that she's really quite proud of me in my almost exact Vanna look. Tuvalu's name. The pronunciation of pop star and guest judge Tuvalu's name shook the social media sphere. Speaking of frosted hair, the fabulous Tuvalu. Welcome, my darling. Thank you. Trinity redeems herself. Trinity the Tuck had the last laugh when she nailed the roast challenge. Evie, I, all joking aside, I just want to let you know, don't let anyone ever tell you you're not pretty. You're not, but don't let them tell you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jinx's Snatch Game I quit smoking today. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, what are you smoking? A uh, cigarette. Uh, yeah, I didn't say it was going well. Eventual winner Jinx Monsoon showcased her comedy chops throughout the season. Trinity, my goodness, so kind and compassionate and caring. She even let her last boyfriend down easy. She said, let's just be cousins. But it was her performance as Judy Garland in the Snatch Game that cemented her place at the front of the pack early on. It's so wonderful to be here. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful to be anywhere, really. Yes. You know, I've been dead for quite some time. <laughs> While queens like Raja and Trinity the Tuck also shined in the episode, as the beloved gay icon, Jinx demonstrated her masterful command of mimicry. Now that we're at the midway point, yeah. is that my camera? <laughs> She even harkened back to her winning season when she forgave Dave, the Marine veteran who memorably confessed that he may have killed the real Judy Garland. I think I might have killed Judy Garland. It was a tour de force that left Broom, sorry, excuse me, Rue, cracking up the whole way and set the tone for a season full of the best talent Drag Race has to offer. Do we have time for one more? Yes, of course we do. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your <laughs> May the first woman 
They changed it to drag queen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.